Oh, we're we're live? live. Hello. Hello. I, I, Happy July 5th. Happy July 5th. I had to save the day again. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> had some tef- technical difficulties. <clears throat> I don't see it popping up, though, as being live, Noah. Sometimes it takes a second. So it'll be live, believe me. It, it doesn't, bro- like, everything is in a little bit of a delay. Is it live, Noah? Yeah. And here's the thing. I mean, okay, I can see it now. Is the audio good? Can you check the audio? So here's the thing we have to figure out, all right? Mm-hmm. Like, Noah was here early. Right. Sophie was here early. Everything was set. And for whatever reason, a year into working with us, Noah still doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, you know, it's, <coughs> the live always throws him. Well, I don't understand. I mean, it's not quite a year. It's not a year because I met Noah at Brave New World. Yes, 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 yes. And yeah. this is why you should never choose a production manager mm-hmm. when he's selling you a snowboard. Wow. Right. Oh, happy right? Right, that's true. Because mm-hmm. he's selling a snowboard and something in my head said, this guy will do. Yeah. Well, and okay. Well, let's just jump into the, sn- let's the jump show. In. Instead I love of Noah, by tearing the way. I'm Noah apart. This. So, hi, Todd. Hi, Lori. Very excited to see everybody. Very excited um, to see you. We have... I mean, tomorrow's a huge day for those that don't know. Huge day. I'm very excited. So this whole show is dedicated to Vinny Brand. Ah, uh, that's very sweet. Tomorrow I... is Vinny's big day. Big day. He's going to be 60 years old oh, tomorrow. 60. 60. Hi, Sharon. I am feeling better. Thank you, Sharon. I uh, Shouldn't sound better. Wait, wait, nah, you have a cough that comes we, up in a minute. We, we did have, as Vinny's uncle likes to say, the copa. We had the copa. <laughs> And it, um, we have this residual cough and like cold, like thing that's still happening. But um, other than that, we're good. And my my mom now and my stepfather have the copa, <laughs> and I think my stepmother might have the copa too. Oh. Mm-hmm. But she doesn't want to test, so I don't know. But yeah, so we are very excited to be here today. In honor of Vinny's 60th birthday. It took me 60 years mm-hmm. to get here. 60 years, yeah. 60 years. So so some of the things that I did that mm-hmm. I wanted to look up. So I looked up who else is turning 60 this year. Big stars. Big stars. So Tom Cruise, notably. Tom Cruise. And <laughs> our career trajectory mm-hmm. is almost the same. Tom has a new movie out. Yeah. I have a new podcast. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We're in our basement. Tom Cruise <clears throat> was at that big race, I think, in Monaco. I was, yeah. For his birthday. Yeah. So, I mean, but I could race around the neighborhood, so you get the same feel. Well, I raced down 95 today to go to Bridgeport. There you go. Hi, here we go. So, just like, and so John Bon Jovi also is turning 60 this year. He looks like an aging lesbian. I don't care what anybody says. John Bon Jovi, I look better than my John Bon Jovi. I will tell you right now, <laughs> you might be living on a prayer, okay? And you might have more money than me, but man alive, does he not look like an aging man? Well, you know what it is about him? Yeah. Is I, I so <laughs> we sat behind him um, at a function. Yes, we did. And he was right in front of us. He, he still makes his hair puffy, like with hairspray and stuff. And I think that the, as you age, well, first of all, that look isn't in anymore. And, but as you age, I don't think you should try to make your hair puffy. So Lord I think knows it's the I'm puffy. not making my hair puffy. Yeah. So it's the puffy, puffy. Can I so. just ask you something? Am I right? <laughs> Does he look like what I said he looks like? All right. So, so <laughs> Steve, um, Steve Carell is also turning 60. His hair looks great. He does, but he got, so if you ever watch the old office, he got hair transplants after season one they look good they definitely look really good he's one of my favorites yeah he's so fun. and i like tom cruise sure sure <clears throat> but arguably no, i mean he got tom cruise did get caught up in that whole scientology thing though i would have been a scientologist but my career wasn't uh big enough they turned me down sure sure makes um, sense they, i'm hoping someday to, <laughs> this is what i'd like to do i'd like to get a big enough career right to become a scientologist um and then uh Divorce you Me, because you sure. won't become one. Right, right. 
And right. then that becomes a big brouhaha. Right. Then yeah. I'm going to transition a la Caitlyn Jenner. I want right. it all. I want it all. Yeah. <laughs> so Ron Ginsburg said, leave your hair alone. Mm-hmm. Leave it alone? Yeah, leave it alone. I think it looks good too, Ron. I do. So Thank you, Ron, but I'm going to get hair plugs. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> they take them off. Sorry. <laughs> they take them off a different part of your body. Nice. And if I got hair plugs, I would take them off my ass. I don't think they take them off at different parts of your body. Babe. They do. They take them off. Yes, they do. I, I, I don't know get, about that. I don't know about that. I would transplant my ass hair to my head. You would transplant your ass hair to your because head. Because the number of times people call me an asshole. Anyway. And I could say, you have no idea. I could look at them right in the face and go, you have no idea how big an asshole I am. And if I did transplant my ass hair. Yeah. And I didn't like somebody. I would say, does my hair feel normal to you? And I would make them feel my ass hair. <laughs> Obviously, you've given some thought to this. Uh, our children are listening. It's very weird that you're saying all of this. So. Awesome. So, uh, so uh, Ron has uh, to tell you he met John and Bruce once when he was working. It's a great story. So we can't wait to hear about that story. Um, so I want to get back to who else is turning. Yeah, it's here, it's here. Uh, MC Hammer. MC Hammer. Yeah, MC Hammer. And, and as I understand it, <coughs> MC Hammer went bankrupt. He did. Well, I mean, listen, if you have a couple hits and then you go out and you buy a plane. Yeah. And <clears throat> you buy. Not just a plane, he bought a 747. He bought a 747. You buy zoo animals. You buy just a whole load of really things that are just going to be out of your price range. Because, I mean, you might be able to buy it. But maintaining and using those things are very expensive. So. I think that when he went to buy that plane, the plane salesman should have said to him, you can't touch us. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, touch <laughs> I like it. So Axel Rose is also turning 60. Also looks like an aging lesbian. He does. Being a rock star is not. No. No. McCartney looks good. Springsteen looks McCartney good. McCartney looks amazing. Ama- he's 80. Amazing. amazing. Ringo Starr looks great. I think he's 83. So when we went to go see Paul McCartney, he was zip, if anyone ever has ever seen him in concert, he literally zips all over the place. Yeah. You know, and that's, he's singing, he's zipping all over. He has an amazing amount of energy. As I understand it, he only uses 100% organic vegan cocaine. And yeah. that's very important. <laughs> yeah. So. <coughs> Man, so, you sound bad. Well, it's the, it's the effects you know, of the you copa. Sound like, you, know, you sound like a, a smoker. A, yeah, you sound like a that's yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. No, I know. So, um, who else is turning sixty? So Jim Carrey's turning sixty. Another. I'm telling you something. I think when you turn sixty, you start looking like a. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll just keep moving on from that. Sheryl Crow is turning sixty. Uh, yeah, Todd says that uh, Steven Tyler looks rough too. He does look like an old lady. Steven That's Tyler's a, only 60. No, he's older than that, but yeah. Man, that dude yeah. looks like a lady. That's what, <laughs> that's what Todd Harpence <laughs> just said. Hi, <laughs> Steph Lachina. Um, yeah, so, and Matthew Broderick. He is, looks good. Yeah, Matthew Broderick really looks good. Uh, who else do we have on this list? Wesley Snipes. I haven't seen him. Well, didn't he get, he got caught up with that tax evasion stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that'll get you. And, um. Jodie Foster. Yeah, Jodie Foster. She looks like an aging lesbian. <laughs> is she a lesbian? Yes, she is. I, I nailed that one. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is. <laughs> so, so one of the things that I was looking up uh, today was 60 things that you should do when you turn 60. Oh man. So I want to get everybody. them are take a nap. Yeah. I want to get everybody's <laughs> feedback because some of this list is really quite ridiculous. That's list. So it's, the list is tailored to men, but you know, some of the things is, you know, go on a road trip to hit every state. I like that. Go on a road trip to hit every state. Other things are ridiculous. Like shake the president's hand. Like any Joe Schmo would be able to get, in the room with the president. I shook Joe Biden's hand on a video on saving President Biden. You can go to my Instagram account and see me shake Joe <laughs> Biden's hand. I want to go shake W's hand in, in uh, Texas. Right. And I got invited to do just that. 
Mm -hmm. So I can go do that. Yeah. Well, some of them are, <laughs> some things you've done, like you, <clears throat> you have flown a plane. I have flown a plane. You have flown a plane. Um, give a speech that is met with a standing ovation. You've done that. I've done that. Right. Um, fight someone that says inappropriate to a girl at the bar. You've done that. Do what? Fight someone that says something inappropriate at a bar. You've done that. I invented that. Yeah. I invented that. <laughs> um, scream out over the Grand Canyon. You've done that. Done that. Um, some of them are just ridiculous. So like, um, what are they? Um, good if you knew what you're doing. No, I do. I, I'm trying, I'm trying to, some of them were just really so Shout stupid. out to Mudwater. Shout out to Mudwater. My new drink. Amazing. Mudwater, the company. Try it. Go online. W-M-D-M-U-D-W-T-R. There's no A. Mud water. Go ahead. Vinny just thinks that if he keeps advertising for mud water, water they'll pick us up as a, you know, as one of. I wouldn't care if they just sent me a free order. Yeah. So some of the other things are get Matt Stone and Trey Parker to laugh at one of your jokes. Like, when are you ever going to be in a room with <coughs> one of them? They're two very, very funny guys. You know, they wrote, right, they wrote one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, Team America. Team America. Have, has anyone ever seen Team America? It's the most ridiculous movie Ever. It's the greatest piece of American history. Can I tell you, this is how great the movie is. <coughs> In the movie theater, I had tears coming down. I was crying. I'm laughing so hard. Here's how funny it is. While I'm doing that, this is Vicky looking at me. Well, it's, he was crying. He literally was crying laughing at puppets having sex. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was so funny. So funny. Did you and see it, Noah? He couldn't stop. And there's like a fight scene with the puppets. Like it is the by far the most <laughs> ridiculous movie you could ever see. And Vinny thought it was, he, th he really did. He really enjoyed it. So, I love, love that movie. And that is, so, don't, you, don't you remember when Alec Baldwin is president of the film actors group and he's giving a speech and he goes, someday <laughs> America will say, will say, thanks, fag, for all you've done. It's the greatest. It's so funny. Well, Michael Anthony thinks it's a funny movie, too. And uh, like yeah, so. so Mud water. Good. Okay. Okay. So I wanted to get some ideas of things that you. Wait, is that all you're supposed to do? No, th some of them are just Let so stupid. some other ones. They're stupid. I want to hear um, them. All right. A lot of them is. It touched the remains of the Berlin Wall. Um, Boring. Have have kids. Bre have, have kids. Yeah, have have kids. Yeah. I invented that. Yeah. I'm doing that for decades. Try surfing in Hawaii. Own a dog, which we own many dogs. Okay. What else? Um, ride a camel around the Great Pyramid of Giza. Okay, that's good. Um, See a concert in Central Park. Okay. Right. Trip on shrooms at the Joshua Tree, which no, you'll never do. No. Let me tell you something. Yeah. That, no. That's something you do on your <coughs> deathbed. Yeah. On your deathbed. But there's nothing else to do. Right. Go to a Super Bowl, which I would like to go to a Super Bowl one time. I would love that, especially because I know that even at the Super Bowl, you'd be like, it's halftime. Let's beat the traffic. <laughs> That's how. I would. I would sit there and be like, I'm cold. Can we leave? I can assure I'm... you one thing. I can assure you this. What? If we go to a Super Bowl, we are, I don't care if it's a thousand and two to zero, we're watching the end of that game. Well, you know, it's funny is, uh, you know, I, I will tell the story. So I used to, growing up, my mom would always like to beat the traffic. Oh. So we lived in this tiny little town. And we had a tiny little movie theater in our town. <laughs> and at the end of the movie, I mean, there couldn't be more than 40 people in the whole movie theater. And she'd have to beat everybody out. So she would make us walk backwards at the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd walk backwards. So we'd watch the end of the movie walking backwards. So we'd be the first one out of the movie theater. That is so funny. So I grew up that way. So when we started dating, I would want to beat the traffic. At all costs. It, it's the hockey game. We went to a hockey game, a playoff game. <coughs> yeah. It is a 0-0 zero, zero game. It may not have been a playoff. It may have been a see who gets in a playoff. It's a 0-0 zero, zero game. Amazing saves the entire game. It went to triple overtime back then. And at the end of triple overtime, 
if it ends 0, 0 back then, it was just a tie. Something like that. And there's a minute left in the game. I think he goes, come on, I want to be the first one on the bus. So this is the old Meadowlands. You had to take a bus to your car. I'll be the first one on the bus. I'm like, I think there's a minute left. This is boring. No one scored. Nothing's going to happen. Let's go. I'm like, a minute. There's a minute left. She talks me into it. <coughs> we leave. We are the first one on the bus. The second guy on the bus, first on the bus, goes, did you see that finish? I'm like, oh, I hate you. I hate you. They scored. <coughs> 10 seconds left. But why, why, did, why did we do that? Why did we do that, Vinny? To be we traffic. did that, no, because the sporting event that we had been to a oh. few months earlier, I was in college. Holy shit, what a crybaby. And I again. had a huge chemistry exam the next morning. <laughs> we went to a Yankee game. And I even brought my chemistry book with me to the Yankee game. I don't know how much studying I thought I was going to be doing during it the was, Yankee game. It was game. a Seattle Mariner playoff game. The game went 15 innings. Yeah. Good. And so I say to Vinny, I, I got to go because we got to get the next, the last train out because I have an exam in the morning and I, I got to get back. And I got to pass. She goes, I got to pass. If I don't pass this exam. Well, because there was only a midterm and a final. That's yeah. it. There was only two grades in the whole stupid semester. And I had to do really well because <clears throat> in the midterm, I hadn't done very well. And so I was like, I, I got to get home. And you said to me, and I quote, we don't leave to the Yankees leave. <laughs> and I said, what? And you were like, no, we can't leave. We can't leave. This is like, it was a history making game. So you refused to leave, and then you were asking perfect strangers to drive us home. Not strangers, fellow Yankee fans. Yeah, that we that sat in front of us. I said these guys can drive us home. <laughs> they were going to Tom's River Way to go to New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. And here's uh, Vicky with them right in front of us. They're like, yeah, we'll we'll drive you. Here's Vicky. I'm not driving with them. They're right in front of us. They could be murderers. I'm like, yeah, that's what murderers do. Murderers go to a playoff game. Well, oh, you don't God. know. You you don't get in the car <clears throat> with strangers. And so then. We ended up, like, I forget what time we got out of there, like 4 o'clock in the morning? No, we got out at 2.30, 2.30 or something. All right, and so then we had to hire a gypsy cab to drive us to New Brunswick. I got about an hour's sleep before my exam. And needless to say, who had to do four more months of chemistry? This gal, because I failed miserably. Yep, yep. Jim Leyritz won mm -hmm. that game with a walk-off home run in the bottom of the 15th inning. <coughs> yeah. It was an amazing game. I mean, amazing. Pitching changing. Well, I, I just wanted you to point out now, nowadays, like, you know, I was young. I didn't fight you on it. I was pissed off. I gave you the silent treatment. Now I would have stood up and been like, get your ass up. We are leaving. You are not staying. Yeah, that makes me remember. <laughs> no, it really does. It makes me so nostalgic. When you used to every now and then be silent and give me a silent treatment. <laughs> wow, that was nice. That was nice. <laughs> I remember that. God. Yeah, those days are gone. They're gone. Yeah, those days are gone. The amount of drama in our house is unbearable. We do have a lot of drama. Yeah, I mean, with three girls, you're going to get a lot of drama. Four girls. You know what? You better watch yourself, Maddie. It's you're, your birthday tomorrow. I would be nice to me. No, I, I'm. Listen. I am nice to you, but you know you're a little drama filled. I am not drama filled. You are. Even the kids all you know say what? you, you know are what? such a baby. I'm not talking to you for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, getting back to uh, your bucket list. My bucket I, list. We veered off a little bit on that. So, what are some things that you think well, that you, know, you want to do? I have always said you have to know the difference between want and need. <laughs> want and need, right? Want and need. And the difference is, is simple. Just remember, our kids are listening. <laughs> it's a joke. I know. You want a girlfriend. Mm. You need your wife's permission. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a joke. <laughs> okay, what do I want to do? Yeah. Here's what I'd like to do. I want to grow our social media following. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people want that because they're egotists. Mm -hmm. And I don't want it for that. Right. I want it because it's what we do. My. And I love people, right, being part My. of it. So I, that's work-related, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, but the videos are fun and they're doing well. Yeah. So here's what I like to do in my 60s. I like to go <laughs> deep sea fishing. Right, deep sea fishing. Mm-hmm. Which I think Chris Hutton is going to get me out there finally next week. Oh, no way. I think, if it, if it lines up. Right. I want to get my... I finally want to submit material to Sirius Radio. I've never done that, and I was going to do that right. for me. We have that time. Um, I would very much... You see, here's the problem. I, you know, I don't know. Like, I want to spend more time with you. What? We're together every day. I, How much more time could we spend together? Go on, dear. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> we work together. We live together. All right, go on. I stumped you there. No, you, you ruined my time. Yeah, no, go on, go on. Okay, I would like to, let me, well, help me. Oh, I want to take horseback riding lessons. You do want to take horseback riding lessons, right? Oh, Steph Lachina says, come to Vero Beach. You know what, Steph? We do want to see Vero Beach because um, we are, um, I desperately want to get somewhere down there in Florida, just a little little place. Yeah, we're somewhere. talking about what I want to do. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I veered off. <laughs> All right, yeah, go on. Uh, in my 60th year, uh-huh. I want to make sure <clears throat> that I get at least 12 days skiing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year, we did pretty good. Last year, we did good. Yeah. 12 days skiing. I would like to finally sit down uh, and write the book, finish the book about the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we've had a lot of fun, we have. interesting things uh-huh. that have happened at the club. Yeah. I want to get that done. And, I mean, I, okay, I would like to take the boat up the Hudson and get at least past <coughs> the Tappan Z. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think we've done that once. No. We went under the GW and you said, turn around, go home. The Tappan Z was another five miles, six miles, whatever it is. It's not far. Mm. Um, you, you filed that home. away. <laughs> you filed that away. Well, <clears throat> we did have a late jump that day. Yeah. So it wasn't even a bad call. Right. Because... We left late. Sure. You have to get on that trip, <clears throat> you know, early in the morning. Be on the water by 8. Right. You're in New York City Harbor after the rush hour. And mm-hmm. up you go. Uh, is there a rush hour on the, in the water? Of course. There is? All the ferries. Yeah. Usually. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, that those... never occurred to me. Pardon? That never occurred to me. You know, I don't know if you remember, but we went into New York City Harbor on our boat. Mm-hmm. The one day, it was really rough. Yeah. Um. Because there were so many, so many big boats right, moving right, through right. the harbor. And um, so that was that, right? Right. So what uh, else would you like to do? <clears throat> horseback ride, ski, uh, write the book. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Give me some ideas. I don't know. I think that everybody should give Vinny some ideas of what he, <clears throat> they think he should, should tackle this year. Well, I, wa- I would love to get a group together, <coughs> a big group. I mean, a big group and go to Cat Time Rodeo. Oh, I love Cowtown Rodeo. It's a Saturday night. It's only between now and September. Well, they do Friday nights too. <clears throat> no. Yes, they do. They used to do Tuesday, Saturday. No, I just looked up the schedule. Like oh. August 5th is one of the days oh, that they're doing Oh, that's a special event. Yeah. Yes. A Cowtown, if you want to join us at Cowtown Rodeo, yeah. it's the longest and oldest running rodeo in the country. Yeah. We did it one time. Yeah, I loved it. We had a blast. We had so much fun. And plus, I'm with my people. You are with your people. We did. We went to a rodeo in Wyoming. Yes. And that was so much fun. It, it, but it's also, okay, so this is why I'm with my people. I walk behind the bulls mm-hmm. to go get us a, a cold beer. Yeah. <clears throat> and there's a guy standing there and he's just watching the bulls. And I go, what are you doing? To the guy, you know, friendly. I said, yeah. you know, what, what, what's your job? And he goes, I have to make sure the out-of-towners don't get kicked to death. And the way he said it made me so happy because mm-hmm. that's his job to make sure tourists don't try and pet the bull. Right, right, right. And uh, <clears throat> I just loved it. I love the fact that when the girl came in with the flag, no one had to be told to stand up for yeah. the national anthem. They all stood up. Yeah. I would also like to completely spread the word about how great this country is. I'm so tired. Right. So I want to get that word out there. I want to help spread that word because I love this country. Yes, you do. And I, I don't know. I just love it. Anyway, right. So I'd like to go to a rodeo. Um, I would not mind at all uh, going uh, whale watching. Whale watching? Okay. Yep. I'd like to do some whale watching. Um, 
I think I think, that, and I'll make a full list. I'll yeah. Make a full so list. yeah. So for the, the for those that are listening, um, Todd Parvin said, "Hang out with Todd more." We do have to add that to our list. What's that? To hang out with Todd more. Yeah, hang that. out with Todd more. So, Can I just say one thing? Yeah. We have a video we're going to shoot, and we need people at the mall. So I will, everyone in the comment today, I will tell you what it is. You're going to meet us at Mango Park Mall, and we're going to shoot a short video and put it up on Vinny underscore brand, and you'll be in that video. And it's so, no, that's a great concept, right? The mall video, you know, the, yeah, great concept. So yeah. We, we need so, um, so this all started, so we do this every year on our birthdays. It started when Tabby was eight and we were at the diner because my kids like going to the diner and we had taken her out for her birthday, uh, you know, cause we're big spenders. And, um, uh, we said to her on just um, uh, one of those paper menus, we said, write out eight things that you'd like to accomplish this year. Yeah. And so every year on our birthdays, we all write out, however old we are, things that we'd like to accomplish. Correct. So Vidi has to write out 60 things tomorrow. What was my 59 thing? Uh, I'm sure we have it somewhere, because we oh, always I save it. I know one of them. Yeah. <clears throat> one of them was get. 10 days skiing, and I think we did. We did, we did, because we bought the Epic Passes, and I figured it out financially how many days in hell or high water I was gonna make that pass work. Yeah, we did, we did that. Yeah. I think I wanted to, I, I'm almost sure, I wanted to play more guitar, which I did for a while. Yeah, you did. I got sidetracked. Right, so. I wanted to get the podcast stabilized, which we right. did. That's what we got some right. So Ron wants to know when we're going to Menlo Mall. Ron, we'll let you know. And we'll we'll make sure that you and Sharon are available. And we um, need about fifty people right yeah. now. And uh -huh. you fifty people that join us at the mall. Yeah, Todd Sophia, wants to know I too. want some young people too. Yeah. All right. And no, you'll get your girlfriend and some people, right? Right. So the fifty people that follow us, part of the video is we're taking everybody to lunch at either Chipotle or somewhere fun where we could be loud yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and have fun. Yeah. So we need a good group for that. Yeah. So um so right now I wanted to um to share some pictures of you from oh, over the years. So um, can we put one up, Noah? Let's put the first can one. Can I see what you're putting up? Yeah, the first one. Yeah, oh, you boy. can see it because I have it up on my phone. I want to look at my own phone yeah. in case I have to throw it. So let's up. see. Oh, Mike says he's game too. He's in. Just yeah. in case I have to get <laughs> mad, I have to take a look. Yeah, see, this, oh. is, <laughs> this is the Vinnie brand. <laughs> This is the Vinnie brand guarantee there. He's looking hot. <clears throat> looking hot in that, that picture. You know where that is from? That's your your senior your uh, senior. This is my high school senior yearbook picture. And yeah. I have to tell you something. Look at how killer my hair was. Yeah, you had good hair. You that had good great, hair. Such thick, beautiful mop. And even though I never did drugs, I had drug dear glasses right i love denise's comment oh wow <laughs> oh wow that's it denise there's nothing else you can say about that one can Look i tell you you can't tell in this picture but my parents sent me to school in a blue blazer a wool blue blazer yeah a wool camel hair vest <laughs> and a tie okay now this oh uh, this is one of my favorite pictures of any he's literally washing a raccoon yep washing a raccoon young mr vincent i washing am a, a sophomore raccoon. in college you were a sophomore in college then? At this picture, I'm a sophomore in college. And uh, that little raccoon, I can't think of the raccoon name. Uh, we found that raccoon and I started raising that raccoon. And I domesticated him until I got older. And then that raccoon got a little aggressive and attacked a Kappa Sig dog. And the Kappa Sig brother killed it. Shut up. Killed it, yeah. That's a terrible story. Terrible story. Uh, I'm not the one who put the picture up. Sorry to depress everybody. Oh my God, that's terrible. Yeah, you're the All one right, who brought it up. Let's put a different picture up that we can make fun of Vinny on. <laughs> I can see another one. Um, so, uh, this is one of your first headshots, right? Fat Vinny. Uh, well, I mean. Look how round my face is. You, you ra your this face is when was round. I was round. fat. Yeah. And I got to tell you something funny. Like, still the hair. If you go back to the first shot. You look like a porno star. A fat porno star. Yeah. Go back to the first picture now, just for a second, if you, if you don't mind. Look at the hair here, and now look at the hair in this first shot. You'll see that, you'll see the origin of the hair. 
Yeah. From high school. Well, yeah, I don't think we need to go back. And, oh, oh you go. see it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. let's, go, let's go. It's a shot three again. You can see the shots. They're so close. Right. We, yeah. We, let's move on to the next shot, Noah. That's some great hair. Yeah, that is some great hair. This, oh. this is when Vinny, this was when Vinny and I first started dating. This was the first year that we were dating. He was uh, sporting the goatee with the guinea tees. That was his look. <laughs> That was his look that he was going yeah, just with. Tonight, in tonight's podcast so far, you dropped the phrase gypsy and guinea. Just to let you know. <laughs> gypsy? Oh, yeah. You said gypsy before. Gypsy cab. That's what they were called. Listen, I'm just telling you, it's not very woke. You can't call them gypsy cabs anymore. Really? You can't call them gypsy cabs anymore? Romanian cab drivers. This Right. Phil, <laughs> Phil says you look like the chef on a pizza box in a headshot. Yeah. This, oh, another headshot. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't know what year that is. Um, I love the loafers. I love the what? The loafers. I, I, <laughs> I'm wearing loafers, <laughs> no socks. And this is, my, this is my look where I'm saying, I'm so cool. I'm thinking of things. That's what the picture says. Yeah, that is. That I'm is. thinking of funny things right now. Oh, it's one of my favorite shots. Well, yeah, that was um, our headshot that we got in the city. Well, you were getting a headshot and then you had me jumping in a picture. Yeah, you haven't changed. Oh, that's very sweet, sweetheart. You haven't changed. No, you haven't uh, changed. That's very sweet. Do there you have was, pictures when we first started dating? Have I you? do, but yeah, I didn't put them in here. Um, I Noah just had this picture. I didn't. This wasn't. Yeah, that's a great. I love that shot. There was one. Uh, this is a shot that I wanted to end on. This was back in the day. We used to have um, dueling pianos. Dueling pianos. Thank you. And Vinny would have a scotch, and he or would seven. Yeah, and he would sit and sing. Um, all of his songs. You you remember the songs I sang? Oh yeah, lawyers, guns, and money. Lawyers, guns, and money. Yeah. Um. Tom Petty's breakdown. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Um. With a little help from my friends. Little help from my friends. Yeah. And Vinny, I killed those songs. Vinny loved performing. I mean, I know it's shocking, but he did. He did. I really killed those songs. Yeah. Not as in I sang them well. Right. I killed them. People heard me sing them, sing them, and they never heard them again. Like, right. They never heard that song. Yeah. Boy, so, that's a fun shot. Thanks, guys. Mike says great shot of both of us, and Denise said she loves a shot, and Ron said he knows why. You know, this okay. I look very tan there. What was that? Was the summer? That was actually your birthday. That was your thirty third birthday. How do you know that? Because I brought the cake out to you. Wow, that was your thirty third birthday. See, when I see these shots, like me and the guinea tea, and this shot here, I see why you pursued me. And yeah, yeah, I pursued you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Phil wants to know, was Vinny a good singer? He was. He did. He, he, were you a good singer? You were a good singer. Yeah. I can still sing. Yes. But my range is disappearing. <laughs> well, I think all the years of talking. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, well, that's what you do for a living. Um, you know, your voice is more gravelly. Now I can sing the weight. Yeah. I can still <laughs> sing Breakdown. Yeah. I can still sing Breakdown. Yeah. So. Some songs. So um, I think that we're going to wrap it up. No, with, there's something I got to talk with about. With a big happy birthday. What? That's very sweet of you. Can I just complain about one thing? Oh, Jesus Christ. No, it's not go. about you. First of all, I, everyone always knows. Like, I'm the happiest guy. Like I, like, I love my wife. Like, I, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, and listen, there's no shortage of women throwing themselves at me on a daily basis, okay? <laughs> and, and I'm very, you know. Yeah, sure. There may be a shortage. There sure. Could be a, there could be a shortage. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because if there was no shortage, it wouldn't matter. But I have to complain about is someone laughing at me. No. Um, <coughs> Babette says Vicky can't say gypsy, but v Vinny can say, I don't know, her comment cut off. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So this is what's bothering me <laughs> about the world we live in. Yeah. All right. So I've been a comic and I think I'm pretty funny. Yeah, I think so. And by the way, September 16th, and 17, that's when I'm doing my show at the club. The 16th with John Bramnick mm -hmm. and the 17th. September. Of September, which is not that far away. What's the matter? I swear to God, we just bought tickets to a Michigan football game. For what date? September 16th, dum dum. Who's playing that game? That's a UConn game. Ah, we're not going to that. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm like, UConn, it's not even going to be a football game. I could beat UConn. But I sat there and went over the, ca the but calendar with you. I told you it's a shitty game. All right, go, go on. All right, so anyway, <coughs> September 16, 17, we're doing our show. Uh -huh. Wait, here's what bothers me. 
I need all of you to buy tickets for that show and to get your friend to buy tickets. John Hinckley Jr. Do you have the story? <clears throat> now, you know who he is, right? John Hinckley Jr.? Yes. The one that shot Ronald Reagan. He shot Ronald Reagan. Right. He paralyzed James Brady. Yeah. He hit a Washington, D.C. policeman. Right. He went to prison for a long time. Right. He got paroled in January. He formed a band in January. Now, first of all, how the hell does John Hinckley send out, like, I, I need bandmates, and people are like, oh, I'm free. Who the hell joins John Hinckley's band? Like, <laughs> wouldn't you just even be afraid to inadvertently miss a practice, and then you come in, pow, like, Yeah. Okay, so, and by the way, you know who he was trying to impress? Who? John Hinckley Jr. was trying to impress Jody Foster. Oh, coming full exactly. circle. Exactly. Our podcast is coming full circle today. It, oh, full circle. And I love Jody Foster. I <coughs> know you do. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. He announced the concert at a 450 seat venue and it sold out within a day. That's crazy. It's beyond crazy. It's beyond, and it pisses me off because, and this is why I'm going to ask you people to help <coughs> tonight for my birthday. That's go, crazy. Huh? That's crazy. Yeah. Tonight for my birthday, go on Vinny Brand Comedian, like and follow that page. That's my birthday gift. And get your friends to do that because John Hinckley Jr. shouldn't even be out of jail. He shot a goddamn president. Yeah, that's crazy. So why? And then <coughs> are these maniacs buying tickets? Now- the cancel the concert because there were so many death threats. Well, it seems appropriate, yeah. And they canceled the concert for the safety of the employees. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, they weren't already John Hinckley Jr. No one gives a shit. If John Hinckley Jr. got shot and killed on stage, someone would be selling John Hinckley dead t shirts the next morning. That's what's crazy. And, like, listen, we put a lot into what we do. Right. And I think it's bonkers that this guy could sell out and i need you people to help me sell out is that wrong for me to ask no i don't think not so that wrong no nope, nope. let's go all right uh so does that make it yeah so everyone is saying happy birthday to you uh all of you thank you very much you have no idea how nice it is that you are all here every week with us you have no idea i love you people and you know i'm a very emotional guy yeah you are i talk, i speak my mind right you do speak your mind and um and I'm as happy as it gets, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Vicky, on the other hand, told me yesterday that she will probably get divorced from me at the twenty five year mark. No, no, no. I said year. I said in twenty twenty five we'll be together thirty years. Right. And so I was kidding with the kids. We always have these you know, we it's a very dark sense of humor household. And the kids had said, We think you're gonna divorce dad because it was not my anniversary, they're asking. And I said, you know what? Maybe I'll do it in 2025. It'll be like 30 years, my retirement party for my marriage. Should get the gold watch in the house. <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> let me let me say the No, I'm, I'm just joking. Obviously, I would never. Yeah. No, I don't think we'll ever divorce. No. If we divorce it, it'll be your fault. Yeah. I <laughs> you you believe that, right? <laughs> no. Yes, it will. <clears throat> First no. of all, I like, all right. A, I'm very happy. But right. B, I wouldn't be motivated enough. Nah, and I'm a procrastinator, so uh, it would never happen. One of my biggest fears is that I yeah. will die in the house and you will just say, kids, kids, don't go downstairs. Your father's <laughs> dead down there. But I, we're going to get to it. It's on our list. It's on our list to get done. I really do believe that. Uh, by the way, you know, my dad died at 60. Yes, I know. At 60 years and 11 months. And now my uh, current goal is to go at least 11 months. <laughs> <coughs> no, stop, stop. So happy birthday, Vinny. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Thank and, you all. Yeah, and have a, we, we'll post pictures tomorrow of uh, Vinny's big day tomorrow. We have my big, big plans. day. Yeah, big Come plans. Come do the video with us. Yeah. And get your friends to follow on Instagram, Vinny underscore brand, V-I-N-N-I-E underscore brand, the YouTube channel. And of course, go to Vinny Brand Comedian. And like that, that will be a great birthday yeah. gift. So have a good night, everybody.